One of my favorite makeovers that I have been able to do was when I lived with my ex and he is a professional skateboarder and really loves his body. So we created this DIY home gym that oh, I just totally was able to get lost in. And obviously with the move and everything, I don't have that space available to me anymore, but I still have some of the gear left over and can create a gym oasis if I want to. So I'm going to. Well, hello YouTube and welcome to my crib. Come on in. This used to be the dining room previously, but I'm going to transform it into my home gym slash entryway. So today I'm gonna do a makeover that is doable for anybody because there's no demo or reno needed. We're basically just repackaging this room to look prettier when you walk directly into my house and also functional as a gym in completion. Single-handedly, this piece was inspired by a $50 locker that I found at my local swap meet. So that's what we're designing around. Ooh. You're getting big. <laughs> don't, don't much. All right, check one, check two. Yesterday, the last of my mastermind group left, so typically those days I won't really film. I cleaned out the room because you've seen me clean out a million rooms, and I moved a couple of things in to get some inspiration. We're really just focusing on this back wall today and a couple things for like this corner in that corner, but it shouldn't be an intense makeover. It really shouldn't. It should be more like a gym refresh. Now, I know on my last makeover, there was a lot of personality and color. That's going to be changing in each room, but because this is like your entryway slash gym right now, I'm gonna keep it pretty mellow and just bring a lot of personality within the touches such as the locker and the plants and then change the color of this wall to a white because we have the green floor in here and that's enough if we're being honest. So there's a lot to do today. It's not overwhelming. We're pretty much just making it pretty and tidying it up in a new unique package, if you will. Sometimes I feel like people think you need to completely throw away the present rather than just simply rewrapping. So we are going to be rewrapping, which is something we didn't do in our last video. We completely just started new. And none of this is making sense because I haven't had my coffee. So let me get some coffee. Let me love my dogs and then let's get started. The paint in this room has a semi-gloss finish, which makes uh, it very reflective with the amount of sun that this room also gets. So I decided to paint the gray wall white, but in an eggshell finish, and it's still cleanable, just like a sheen down, so it's not as intense. The name of the game here is to raise everything off the floor because it will make the room feel less heavy, which is why I'm hanging up a mirror instead of letting it just lean on the floor. And then I'm also hanging up my Legree machine, which is gonna obviously open up a ton of floor space. And I'm just doing that with some pipe and flange, which I've worked with pipe and flange a ton of times. You can even use copper to use a different tone. To hang something that is heavy, you wanna make sure you have the proper drywall anchors, which I've linked a couple options down below for you. You wanna make sure it can carry the weight. And now I can hang this machine up. One reason that I really wasn't working out in here is I didn't have any floor space, so that just completely solved this problem. Out of my way. Fun, a couple of fun facts for you. First being, this was going to be the color inspiration for my guest bedroom. It is called Positive Energy by Bear. I will link everything down below for you, but I opted out of it because it ended up being too like pastel green, but it worked wonders right here on this little tiny wall to turn it into an accent moment because I'm really into making the room look good from every single angle also thought it would be fun to kind of tease the colors that will be incorporated into the house right here. So the rusty gate from the ceiling in the guest bedroom, I just painted the trim on the right hand side. And then the piece de resistance to this accent wall was a piece of a tree that looked like a longhorn. I wanted to take a second to come on here and thank today's sponsor and also tell you a little bit more about Upstart. You know, maybe there's that one credit card that you're afraid to look at the balance or you've just been avoiding your debt in general. You could even have multiple credit cards with multiple due dates, website logins and balances and tracking all of that can be a little bit overwhelming and stressful. Upstart makes it simple with one payment in one place, one time a month. It's the fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt 
all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple, fixed monthly payment. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they assess more than just your credit score. And with a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from $1,000 to $50,000. You can get approved the same day and can receive funds as fast as one business day. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. If debt is taking over your life, it's time to get a fresh start with Upstart. And if you are interested in finding out how to lower your monthly payments, you can head over to upstart.com slash Mets. That is upstart.com slash Mets. Do not forget to use our URL so they know that I sent you. Now, let's just jump back into this insanely easy, cute and chic, if I do say so myself, entryway gym makeover. Something I wanted to test out was chic and functional storage that literally hides the entire mess of the situation, but you don't want to build anything. Can we hug you? Okay, come here. I can definitely do that. Hmm. It's just a melter. It just melts. Now remember this is doubling as an entryway, so I decided to dedicate each locker to something else. The top one, after cleaning and thinking about it a little bit, is going to be for guests or any kind of bags that I may have so they can throw their luggage right there and it's out of the way. And then I decided that the second one, because it had this shelf situation, that was going to be where I put the majority of my gym gear. To add some life into this thrifted locker, I decided to cut down plywood to size that I had on hand and then add a really nice varnish finish that I did in the uh, guest bedroom makeover that makes the wood look wet. So it has a really thick sealant and it's easy to clean. And then I just added that to the base of each locker and it just made it look way more chic in my opinion. All right, folks, I don't know if you can see me. I don't know where I am in this camera fine, but I know you can see this. And that is what is important. So I'm about to hang something insanely heavy. And um, I did it in my living room with my wooden shelf. And what I did was cut an opening into the ceiling and then I'll go back in and patch it and secure it with two screws so this doesn't wiggle waggle. What I am doing now is installing a really heavy duty hook to hang this beautiful thrifted stunning macrame hanger. Absolutely beautiful. And it has that pop of orange that my water filter has. And I really just want to play into the house. I want to play into the vintage antique feel until I can do a whole actual kitchen reno and demo. But that's not in the cards right now. So why not, you know, just do what we can and play into the theme of it. I'm actually really playing into the theme of the drapes, hand sewn by the mother of the house. Oh my goodness. I'm doing like a crazy big pot just for dramatic effect. And I'm like, not concerned the thing's gonna fall because I have something heavier hung on the other side. I just don't know if people get my taste sometimes. Like, oh, this thing is so, 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 so stunning. I'm very nervous right now because this thing is heavy. This is always nerve wracking to test. I mean, I just couldn't help myself. When I saw this, I was like, I need to have a jumbo. Oh, yes, this is my gem. To bring the entryway vibe into here, I thrifted this coat rack and I hung up my work coveralls to hopefully inspire people to actually use it. Greenery is the name of the game here and I'm really getting into plants and I'm very excited about it. So I added a plant here and then for the crystals right when you walk in, I have agate, tiger's eye, and desert rose. I picked up some artwork from my local vintage shop and I listed everything down below for you as well as even DIYing something from 2017 for that back small wall to create like two shelves on each side of the whiteboard so I can have moments for decor to again tie in uh, the entryway feel back into the gym area, but still keep it functional for a gym with that whiteboard. It's pretty crazy to see what a very simple makeover and just spending a couple days finding some special items for your space can do for it because we didn't really use power tools that much. It's all about decorating and making the space a little bit more functional to what you need as a human living in your space.
I did order a really incredible large colored like lavender gym mat that hasn't come in yet and I will keep my Patreons updated but something that I wanted to do was keep like the entry on the left hand side and then the gym on the right but making it look good from every angle. Just so you guys are aware, ropes will go right there. I have the hook for it, they're coming on Thursday. So that negative space will have those workout ropes in a natural brown. And you can see that over on my Patreon. Subtle plug. As for the entryway side, when you're looking from the gym over, you have that second mirror, and I'm using the like depth of the mirror to be a propagation station up top with some thrifted glassware, just again to add that green area to go even higher. I just realized, I need to fix that. <laughs> Rude. Even though this was one of the easier makeovers, I have to admit it has been one of my most favorites because it's truly doable for absolutely anybody if you just slow down, think about your space, and think about what goes into it and how you're actually using it versus just being uh, Pinterest impressive. And I learned that firsthand with this one. Thank you for all the love on the last video, and I'm just gonna say thank you for the love on this video already. And shout out my five patrons for the week, which are BJ Matthews, Karina, Ashley, Lauren, and Kim. Thank you so much for your support over there. It's been a wild ride. I love you guys. I'll see you soon for another DIY.